Don't you all just love the look and smell of spring flowers? I know that I do, and I'm really excited to decorate with spring florals. Yes, these are faux florals, but they still make me excited. I wish that I could go to a little nice, I don't know, flower truck or a little market where I could buy fresh flowers that are just as beautiful as these to decorate with. But since I want them to stay alive for a while, we will be decorating with faux florals today. So today we will be decorating my kitchen table and my buffet as you see behind me in spring style. We're gonna go all out with the spring florals and with bunnies and I'm really excited to show you guys everything that we get into today. So if you wanna see, go ahead and keep watching. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start here at my dining table like I told you all and the first thing we're gonna do is put a little table runner on the table. So I did wanna tell you all that this table runner that I'm gonna be using is actually not a table runner at all, it is a curtain. And the reason I'm using it is because I never actually use this as a curtain and it's super cute. It's like a light blue color and it has this beautiful threading down the sides of it. And I think it will work perfectly as a table runner. So I also wanted to just let you guys know you know, just as an idea, you don't always have to buy a new table runner. You can use things that you have in your own home. And I'm actually really glad I kept this curtain because it's gonna look perfect as a table runner. So I have it folded in half right here. And I may actually fold it in half again just to have it a little bit thinner, but let's try it on the table and see how it looks. So as y'all can see, my table is not the biggest table that there is, but it fits my area perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is we'll use our curtain table runner, like I said. But I want y'all to keep in mind that as I'm doing this, I'm gonna go a little bit extra with the decor on here. It's gonna be exaggerated and it's gonna be a lot, just the way that I like to decorate. But it's not gonna be super realistic because we do actually eat at this table. So that's not gonna be like the way the table will stay. So the first thing I'm gonna show you all is how the table would look if I had a larger table, how I would want my centerpiece to look but then I'll also show you guys what I'm actually gonna set the table like for us to actually eat at. So here is my little curtain table runner and I like how it looks like this. I think it's perfect. Again, it's gonna take up most of the table for right now while we're decorating and then I'll show you guys at the end what I'm actually gonna decorate my table like for us to actually sit and eat at it. So the next thing I'm gonna add to the table is gonna be these candles right here. If y'all watched one of my thrift hauls, I thrifted this from Savers for $7.99 and then I just bought these battery operated candles from Amazon. We are gonna be adding some bunnies. These bunnies I got from Tuesday morning. And they are super cute. We have one bunny holding her little flower. And then we have this other bunny. He's holding a little carrot, super cute. Those two will be right here. And now we're gonna get into the florals. Let me show you all these beautiful florals that we're gonna be using. So these florals came from Michael's. Super beautiful springy colors. So we're gonna be using these. And then we're also gonna be using this. This is just a pick that has like this long greenery hanging off of it. This came from Joann's. So we're gonna start with this pick, this greenery pick, and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the candles. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of separate the longer pieces around the bunnies like this, just so that it looks nice and full in between the bunnies. All right, and now we'll start with the florals. So what I'm gonna do is, I kind of want florals near the bunnies, so something like this. two matching florals on either side. And then I'm gonna put my yellow floral right in the middle. So next, just to give it a little whimsical flair, I'm gonna be adding these cute nests with cute little eggs inside of them. These came from Ross. I have also seen these at Hobby Lobby. But if you find them at Ross, you're gonna get a better deal. These were $4.99 and I got three of the little nests and eggs. And then I'm gonna be putting the nests on top of just a little peat pot. You can get these at Walmart for really cheap 
or you can get them. I've heard at Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while, but I've heard you can get them at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put these on the sides of the bunnies like this. And then we're going to put the nests on top of the little peat pots. I want it to look really whimsical and really fairy tale like. So there's those. And next we're going to be adding these beautiful purple flowers. So these I'm going to be putting just on the sides. Just to give a little something in the back. Just like that. And that's going to be all that I'm going to do in the front of this table center piece. And then I will show you guys what we're going to do in the back. All right, y'all, so we got the front side done of this centerpiece, so now we're gonna work on the back side because as you know, for centerpieces, you want it to look good from the front, the back, and the sides so that anywhere that you sit, the centerpiece will look really nice. So what we're gonna start with are a couple of books that I'm gonna be using as risers. So I'm gonna put those two right there. And then I have two other ones for the other side. Now on top of these books, I'm going to be adding these really cute greeneries. These came from Marshalls. Here's the other one. And in the middle, I'm going to be adding this. This is just a greenery ball. This one came from Burlington. Just right there in the middle. And lastly, we're going to be adding some florals to this side as well. So like I had told you all, the nests came in a little three pack, so I do have this one left. So I'm just gonna place it right here, right in the center. And that is gonna be it for this side, y'all. So let me give you guys a closer look at everything. So y'all, now that we did the really full, abundant, springy looking display, like I said, my table is on the smaller side. So I would rather have a smaller display on my table because we do eat at this table. So I need my display to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna turn that same type of look display into a display for a smaller table like mine. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold our curtain table runner in half again. And I'm gonna lay it down so that you don't see the edges of it really. First, we're gonna start out with a basket. This is one of the baskets that I found at Savers on one of my thrift hauls, I showed it. So we're gonna start with this. All right, and inside the basket, I'm gonna be putting a book at the bottom because I want, I'm gonna be putting the bunnies in this basket and I want the bunny that sits on the book to be up a little bit taller than all the florals I'm gonna be putting around it. And here are the same bunnies that we used in the other display. And I'm also gonna use one of the peat pots and I'm gonna just sit it right here. It's gonna act as another riser for one of the bunnies. So this bunny will put right here and this bunny will put up here. And now we'll add some greenery. So we're just gonna be using that long greenery that we used on the centerpiece. So 
So I'm just gonna tuck it around. I want it to look kind of messy and organic. And then we will add the florals. So I do need to keep in mind that I want the back to look really cute as well, since obviously, like I said, we want center pieces to look good from every angle. So there's the front, now let's work on the back. And then I'm gonna add one of the little nests back here. Since I don't really have any other bunnies, I wish I had a little bunny to place right here facing this way, but I don't. So we'll just be using a little nest as kind of the focal point for the back. And last, I think I'm gonna add these pink flowers right here in the middle, just to give this area a little bit of pink since the back has pink on it. And that's gonna be it for a smaller centerpiece. I'll go ahead and put this in the middle of the table. So there's the centerpiece in the middle of the table. Now I am gonna add a couple of candles because I do like to have candles at night. You know, when we're eating here, it's really nice to turn some little battery operated candles on. So I'm gonna be using these candle holders. These actually came from Dollar Tree. So they work perfect right there. And I like that it brings in you know, some black because my buffet is painted like a dark charcoal gray. And I'm just gonna take two of the candles that were on our other display and just place them on the sides. And there you have it. There is a smaller version of the display that we did before. All right, y'all, so now in retrospect, Looking everything over, I realized that I would rather have a table runner instead of my little makeshift table runner curtain here. So I do have this table runner that I got from Walmart and I think that it's gonna work better just because the way that I folded it in half again, it is kind of thick. So when we do sit here to eat, it would be a little bit hard to put our placemat on that side over there. So let's go ahead and switch it out for this table runner. So as you all could tell from the last clip of me putting the little table runner on the table, it was nighttime. So now it is the next day and I decided it looked better to film during the daytime. So next we are going to decorate my buffet that you see right here, also an Easter slash spring style. So the first thing I did is I put this table runner down. This one also came from Walmart. This one is really nice because it has a jute or burlap type texture to it. And y'all know I love to decorate with texture, so I'm really excited that I found this at Walmart. The next thing I'm gonna add is gonna be this fruit bowl right here. This is a fruit bowl that came from Savers. It's really cool because it's like a Lazy Susan. I did show it in one of my thrift hauls, so we're just gonna place this right in the middle. So now we're gonna start adding some greenery and some florals to the fruit bowl. 
So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little peat pot upside down like this right in the middle because I am gonna be putting some bunnies up here. And then we're gonna start filling it in with greenery. I do have this one, the same one that we used on the table that is from Joanne's. So I do want parts of it hanging out like this so that it looks really whimsical. Next up, I'm gonna be adding these little greenery sprigs just to add some more texture to the overall look. And now my favorite part is adding these really cute little bunnies. Aren't they adorable? They're holding hands. These bunnies came from Marshalls and they were a really good deal, $7.99. So I was super excited to find these. They're gonna go right in the middle, right on top of the little peat pot. Now I know they look like they're a little bit small for this display, but that's exactly what I'm going for. I want my whole tiny tablescape and buffet area over here to look really fairy tale like and exaggerated, not realistic in the slightest, to look almost Alice in Wonderland-ish. So I really like that they're so small in between all of this beautiful greenery and these florals. And I'm just adding the same type of florals that I added on the tablescape. And there you have it. This part of the buffet is done and I'm in love. I love how cute it turned out. Let me show you guys in a closer look. So now that we have this beautiful piece in the center, I'm going to add a couple of things on the sides. So what I'm gonna do first is add three books on either side as little risers. And next, just because I have to take advantage of Easter time and the cute little bunnies, we're gonna add some more bunnies. So one's gonna go on either side on top of the books. And lastly, just because y'all know I always like to add extra things, I am gonna be putting this little plant holder or little votive holder, not really sure what it is, but it did come from Michael's. I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna add this big greenery ball on top of it. So just like this, and I know it looks a little over the top and it looks wrong because this piece is so big. But again, I'm going for the fairy tale for the exaggerated look. So it's exactly what I want. And I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. And last but not least, just for your daily dose of cuteness. What are you doing, Squishy? Hi. <laughs> you know the girls always got to say hi. Huh. Huh, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Everybody thinks y'all are cute. Huh. Yeah. You good girls? Oh my gosh. You just want all the love, huh? All right, y'all. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm sorry, the dogs are already going crazy as usual. So I really hope that I was able to inspire you all to decorate your own homes for spring or Easter time. It's a lot of fun to decorate with beautiful florals and all the cute little bunnies that are out in the stores. So I really hope that I did inspire you all and that y'all had fun. 
here decorating with me as usual. And I did want to say before I go, thank you all so much for the well wishes for us last week with a crazy Texas snowstorm. We did okay here in my area, thank goodness. We didn't have any power outages or any water issues. So I hope that everyone that did have issues is doing better now. I know that our weather is getting a lot better. We're getting into the springtime temperatures that we're used to again. And I'm really happy about that. I'm so excited for spring and for summertime. And that's gonna be it for today, y'all. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video.